Hi guys, this is Kim with Fatty Patty Scrapper. So I'm excited to um, try a new way to do my video. So hopefully the color will look better, the lighting and everything else. So hopefully this works. Um, I guess we'll find out if it actually makes it onto YouTube. It works. But anyway, I am so excited. So yesterday, I actually recorded this yesterday, but the motion sensor on my video HD camera thing was so bad that I just couldn't take it anymore. And as you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know, it's like going around, around, in and out, in and out. And it's like absolutely making me insane. And it makes me sick to watch it. So I feel for you. So anyway, um, so here is another six by six mini album, um, that I made and I just totally love it. So yesterday was national read a book day. And so I made this in, um, I don't know what you want to call it. Like, I was, anyway, I can't even think of it, but, um, I made it because it, it totally made me think of that. And plus school is fixing to start really soon. So I want to be able to come up with a book, um, to sell. And, um, this is what I came up with. So first of all, this is, um, October afternoons, public library. Um, I did purchase this from a local scrapbook store and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I use real quick. So let me go off with, um, let me move this out of the way real fast. So let me start with this. So first of all, the dies that I used were the Spellbinders Nest Abilities, uh, number five, the oval, um, the number five postage stamps, or no, this is five templates, excuse me. Um, I don't know, it doesn't say that. I'm so retarded. Okay. I'm sorry. I did not mean to tell you that, but okay. So this is, um, called classic ovals. Um, and I'm sure if you do a lot of scrapbooking, you probably already have these, but, um, postage stamps, um, standard circles, large, and also, um, this one that I believe I got it at Michael's. This is the, um, quick cuts, um, something lifestyle crafts cutting dies. And so this was nesting frame seven. So, um, I really love this one a lot. Okay. So anyway, I don't know why it says there's 22 dies in there. I do not think so. But maybe there is. I never really counted them. So um, let me go with. Oops, sorry about that noise. That is not something over. So let me go over with that. The paper collection I got from a local scrapbooking store. Um, and this was actually before I knew Tamara at Country Craft Creations was going to get this. So I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I had already bought it before she had got it in. So anyway, um, I totally loved it. Um, I believe that they don't have this available anymore, but if you go to the conventions, you may be able to find, find one. So let me scroll out of this real quick. Okay. So this is a, one of the sticker sheets. And as you can see, I use several of them on here and I did not use any of the numbers or letters, but I probably will use it on my next album. And the reason why I say this is because, um, I only used half the deck of papers to, or stack of papers to make this album. And, um, that's what I really try to do. And so that I can, um, make more books for my money. So, um, here was another one of these sticker packs and I used uh, a few in that one too. And then here was this one. I don't know why I bought it. Cause I don't know what I was thinking, honestly, when I bought it, but it's, uh, the label stickers. Um, uh, I didn't use them. I don't know what I would use them for. Maybe some cute stuff that I might make at Christmas time. These would be really uh, cute ideas for the teachers. But anyway, um, if you have a local librarian that you absolutely love, she would probably adore this little mini album. So, um, my goodness, I keep having these birds that keep hitting my window. So if you heard that crazy noise, that was this bird like flying into my window because it's retarded. Okay. Anyway, so here is some of the, um, crafting papers that I did use and it's acting crazy there. Sorry. Um, this is by, I believe these are by American crafts and they're like a linen, um, type, um, paper. I don't know if you can see it, but I really love this little linen design. Uh, let me see if you can really see that. Let me turn this light on. Maybe that will help. 
and it won't turn on, so I guess not. You will not. You won't see that. My bad. Anywho, so here are some of the papers. This one's called Library Card. Isn't it cute? And look, see how it's acting crazy again? I swear, I don't know what to do about that. Ugh. Okay. All I know is I took it off autofocus and it seems to be working a little bit better. Anywho, um, so this one's called Library Card. Isn't it cute? I just think it's so pretty. This is some gorgeous paper. This one's called Biography. And I'm going to just try to run through these real quick because I know y'all are like, oh, this is the boring part. This was called Card Catalog and I absolutely love the little filing cabinet. Isn't that cute? So old school. I wish I could find one of those. I would be like in love if I had one of those in my house. Um, totally adorable paper. I'm sorry, that one was called Dust Jacket. This one's called Fiction. And this is actually not black. It's a brown cream color. So I don't know if you can tell on my camera by that. But um, this one's called Due Date. I love that floral design on the back. This one says book tour with Bear, and this one's called story time. And here's a little story about uh, Phileas Frog. Um, this one is called children's section. And I thought it was interesting. There, it's like a beautiful floral design. Um, this one's called reference section. Love the polka dots. And there's some like writing underneath. I don't know if you can tell from here, but it, there is. Um, this is called Encyclopedia. I love the retro look of this paper. Beautiful. I wish I had done my cover in this, but I didn't. I'm ridiculous. I should have done that. Um, but anywho, I do like how I do the cover of this one. So let me start off. Um, let me zoom in a little bit here. I apologize if I'm I think cry cry. Okay, so here um, this little book, uh, again, was six by six. I believe the outside pages or the inside pages are um, five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So they fit really well in this book. You could probably go to five and seven eighths, but then you might have a problem with the way I do my binding system. Um, but anywho, this is a lot like uh, my sister scrapper um, binding system, except that I do, uh, this inside a little bit different. Um, I use chipboard underneath here, and then I use some, um, stuff to keep it, uh, intact in here. Um, so, and then I do the same thing right here with my, um, ribbons, and I might do a video pretty soon on, uh, again, of how I do my, my binding system so that y'all can see it. Um, anywho, so this one says, um, be a reader and I did a, it's, it's like glossy accents, but it's not, this is actually a product I'm going to start selling. Um, I've been working with a, um, gentleman who is really super sweet and, um, I love his products and I'm going to start selling them. So, um, these will be basically types of products that will help get your books together and, and other little tidbits like that, little accents and stuff like that. So anywho, um, so it's kind of like glossy accents, but I haven't really come up with a name yet and I will, um, come up with that pretty soon. I have something in mind, but I don't have it completely, um, you know, official yet. So this says, uh, visit your public library. And I just love this little box. I had to have the balloon on the front. If you know me, you know, I'm a balloon fan. Um, I did not put, um, the uh, acrylic on top of here. I still want to keep this mat. Um, on my side binding, this is the same measurements as um, my sister Scrapper on the last album that I made. I believe it's two and three quarters. I could be wrong, but I believe it is. Um, and then I used another one of the stickers from the collection, and then I went ahead, and I don't know if you can see that. See how shiny it is? I love this stuff. Okay. And um, so here is the back page. I just continued on with the same pattern of paper. So we go on the inside and basically I used one of the file folders from Seven Gypsies. Um, I got it at Walmart, I, not, excuse me, not Walmart. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry about that. I got it from Hobby Lobby um, over in the card section, which is really bizarre. Why they have little mini file folders and stuff over there, I don't know. But really cute. So I went ahead and I glued the paper on top of here. Actually, no. Um, I used um, my, um, my tape. And then again, I have another one of the stickers. And then I did my little... Um, glossy stuff on there and no it's not glossy accents trust me um, here's some washi tape that I got from Walmart that I did real quick and then I just wanted to use this to keep it closed I didn't glue it down or tape it down because I wanted them to be able to open it and close it and I kind of like the idea of this little paper clip here I do did I say file I don't know anyway so then this says right here books are the plane and the train and the road they're the destination and the journey their home and that's by Anna Quinlan. That's a cute little saying there. So here's a little button pack that I got from, um, I believe it was Country Craft Creations uh, from Tamara. I really love this little wooden button. It came in like a little ephemera pack of stuff to use. I totally adore it. I used a little elastic band here and I wanted to keep it uh, the brown color. So I normally use black, but this time I want to go with brown. It's a little flip up. Let me zoom out just a bit here. Here we go. Okay. So have a little flip. And then you just put it back on there. How easy is that? Each one of these, there are six pages. Um, so really front and back, that would be 12, 14, 15, something like that. I don't know why, I don't, why that doesn't make sense. But anyway. Um, no, I'm sorry, 14. And then there's mats. And on one side, I have the pattern paper. And on the other side, I use colored cardstock. So here's another thing. This is from Fancy Pants. These are too cute. They are little um, librarian um, uh, card holders. Isn't that cute? So stinking cute. The ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. You just This is not actually black. Like I said on this camera, it looks brown. It's like a chocolate brown with polka dots. Um, so cute. I love polka dots. And kept in with the polka dot theme here. Again, I used another sticker from the collection and then glossied it up. So here I used a magnet. The magnets are basic gray magnets from Country Craft Creations. I use the small ones. Um, on this size album, unless you're doing a ton of pages, you might want to use the larger disc. But for the smaller albums, you don't need that. Um, guys, I'm doing a video, so please keep it down. Sorry about that. Um, so here, I just basically did a little folder where you can do some journaling right here. Not folder, just a little flap, excuse me. And um, basically, I left it so that they could just put, um, you know, their pictures in here. I want to make sure that there was room to have actual photos in here. So another thing here is um, some more of the um, sticker um, tape here and if I had glued it down with my scrap perfectly it probably would have stayed there but I didn't do that first and I, now I regret it because I see that in some of these spots it's lifting so I'm gonna have to go back in there and pull it up and replace it here is where I use the oval die cut oh I forgot to tell you this one right here um, I used a little scallop punch on the paper brown paper cardstock and um, or craft paper cardstock and then put that on top of it just to kind of separate it a little bit because this is a busy print. Um, so I used again the American Crafts. Uh, this is a gray and I wanted it to pop up so I did use two pop dots underneath here and this is a little um, oh my goodness I'm having a brain fart. Oh my gosh. Okay as always. Anyway um, Bellevue. Thank you. Okay, so here is from Hobby Lobby. This was from their little tiny um, spools of ribbon that they have over in the crafting section. Uh, their spare parts, I guess is what you want to call it. Um, again, another basic gray magnet. There's a little flap. And, oh, don't forget, you can get the magnets at countrycraftcreations.com on Facebook, or you can just go to their .com. Um, and here is another pullout. Isn't that cute? So again, I use some laces from a local um, wedding shop. And I love their little laces. This was pretty inexpensive. Um, it was probably about a dollar or something a yard. But I really like it. I made kind of like a little pocket flap where they can either hold 
um, you know, cards or whatever they want to put in here. Um, again, another popped out. I did leave this one matte. Another sticker from the collection. This one I left matte also. So then just another magnet. Um, another pull out. And then here I decided to do a little something different. Um, I haven't really done too many of these. I decided to do a little pocket. And um, I forgot I am going to put some um, index cards in here. So I thought that'd be a cute little idea. And then again, I used a circle um, die cut here and then added the um, round sticker on top of here. Then I love this. I made this kind of like a little old fashioned um, little uh, book carrier or whatever they used to use back in the day. Um, and then I used one of these little, um, I don't know what you call flower things. This was from Michael's little button and then I use some ribbon back here and then you just open it up here and then that's it it's a little pulled out um, then here I'm not gonna open this because you know how I am about ribbons but I basically did a um, waterfall I did some more um, Hobby Lobby ribbon underneath here and this is kinda like a little um, pocket where you can put ephemera there um, and then another pull out. Um, I love these little file folder cabinet things. I just love that. Okay, so here I love um, the little the end uh, thing and I put it backed it up on the little die stamp die cut and then I made another little belly band and I did this one pretty tight so things probably won't fall through on that. I would say they would not. Um, so then I want to do kind of like a little envelope. And so um, I made this one and I did not use a magnet on this one this time because I wanted to have the sound of like a ripping envelope. I know that sounds retarded. So I used Velcro. I know I'm lame, but I thought it was cute. And so they can put extra pictures in here or whatever they want to use, ephemera or anything like that. And um, that's the end. I hope you all like this album. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put it down below. I love hearing from you all. Also, I would love for you all to check out my new um, Instagram and my new blog, um, The Swaggy Planner. Um, I just uh, hope that you all really like this. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.